time for Wacky Horror. We're going to be reviewing this week uh, Mercy number two from Image Comics. Before I get started, I just want to let you know that I do my own comic books, and you can uh, buy print and digital Red Knight 1 through 3 at manospublishing.com, and I'm currently doing a Kickstarter for issue 4, which you can collect all four issues, by the way, and print and digital. The links are going to be below. So, hey, let's get talking about Images Mercy number 2, and it is from... A writer, artist, and colorist, uh, Mirka Andorfo. And she is really talented. I was really knocked out by the first issue. I've never heard of her work before, but holy crap. Uh, her stuff is gorgeous, and she is doing this kind of Lovecraftian horror western, uh, I think. Uh, let's see. Uh, last we saw, there was this uh, small town that had this incident in the mine and it was some sort of mining accident but it was to cover up some ghastly horror that happened uh, meanwhile we have uh, let's see this one woman who's being chased and we see that she's not altogether human uh, before she's caught uh, then we cut to Lady Helene who has moved into town and she has her uh, guardian taking, uh, kind of take, taking care of her, excuse me. Um, they have, like, moved into this house that came with its own, uh, servant. She stayed on, uh, with the house, but they're trying to keep her a little bit a distance from Helene, and because, uh, Lady Helene doesn't eat people food. She, well, spoiler alert, she eats people. Uh, and... She's invited to this big shindig. She has these uh, plans. Uh, we do get to see some kind of like... Uh, we get to meet some of the supporting characters and there's kind of distrust over her, distrust of each other, and there's kind of like some suspicious characters kind of moving around this uh, series. We do have this uh, little kid who has been an orphan. She's like brutally like abused by her caretaker who runs this little child orphanage and he just beats the kids and makes them work for him and you know kind of like has created this kind of cult mentality to you know not cross him you do what I say and you'll be okay uh, it's terrible and uh, there's this big kind of coming out shindig for Lady Halle and her design is gorgeous uh, she's kind of this gothy pale blonde with kind of smoky eyes and she's got these uh, freckle spots uh, all over. Uh, the child is there, and she sees her, and she, like, goes, oh, you know, it's like stars. Uh, like, she sees, like, the most amazing things about her, and she wants to try and talk to her, uh, but she's kind of shooed aside. And then, when she's outside, uh, Lady Helene comes to her and is going to eat her. She becomes this kind of horrific, like, love, uh, Lovecraftian kind of, like, monster. And just before she tears her apart, she says, Mom? And then after, that causes her to pause for a second, and then her caretaker shows up, and, like, he's gonna, he's come with his two uh, thugs, and they're gonna, like, beat her horribly. And then they see her and attack uh, Lady Helene, and what you think might happen, happens. She tears them apart, uh, and I guess it feeds on them. Uh, when the town comes, they discover like her normal, and the you know the you know the caretaker and the, his thugs like you know all like torn apart and stuff like that. And child is like in her arms, saying you know stay away from my mom, um, and basically kind of becomes her kid. Um, and she, Lady Helene is kind of like really taken aback by this. Like she saw my face and called me mom and she, the kid acts like, actually she says that, you know, uh, heaven answered her prayers and sent her an angel to take care of her. Oh, uh, so we get to see what happened to that uh, other type of creature that's similar to Helene, and apparently a whole bunch of people like attacked 
it killed her and some others like them and are eating them. So we're left wondering, like, is Lady Helene the bad guy or the good guy in this series? Uh, it's really interesting. Uh, absolutely uh, digging this series so far. Uh, I don't know if this is like a full ongoing or it's like a, uh, a plotted number of issues. But uh, I recommend checking this series out if you're looking for something new and interesting. It's definitely gorgeous to look at. I'm going to give this a strong 5 out of 5 gram chips. Uh, it's worth your time if you're looking for something new that's not superhero. If you need kind of a more like a horror vibe to your thing, uh, this, is, this is where you should go. It's a good book. Uh, Alright, I am on lots of social media stuff. Uh, I'm on uh, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. You can support this channel and Manos Publishing at Patreon.com. And don't forget, speaking of support, uh, Red Knight 4 is available soon. It's uh, Kickstarter is going on now. Uh, so you can support the uh, the book at just starting at a dollar, really. Uh, I'd appreciate it because I want to make more comics for you, the viewing public. All right, I think I'm done here, so push the button, Lindsay. Mm -hmm.